This is a fun little toy. Uh, this kind of borders on the what I do and do not cover on my YouTube channel. I'm a lawn and landscape product review how-to channel. And, and I debated about talking about this, but I was like, ah, let's do it because this is, this is a fun little toy. This is bug assault. All right, so uh, this tool here, we'll get rid of flies. Let's go outside. Let's look at it in action. I'll talk about the do's and the don'ts and what I like about it, and we'll go from there. Hey guys, we've come outside, and hopefully we're gonna get some really good B-roll film to show you guys. We're gonna go look for some flies here, but just wanted to go over a few features of, of this uh, bug assault. So to shoot it, it's pretty simple. First thing you've gotta do is put salt in this canister. Just regular table, table salt, don't put coarse kosher salt in it, it's just regular table salt. Give it a pump. So if you're familiar with like a, a BB gun, sometimes you gotta pump a BB gun, same concept. And then there's a safety switch. Turn your safety off and then it's ready to shoot, okay? So let's walk around. I'm gonna see if I can show you this in action. All right, so I want to talk about what this will and will not get rid of. It does a very good job with flies. It does a pretty good job with small beetles. Like a, I had a, a June bug land on my table a little while ago. We got some good B-roll film of it. Um, took care of it. I would not recommend using this on wasp or bees um, because if you do not get the desired result, they may come after you, okay? Uh, I have not done that personally, uh, but just word to the wise there. So a few things to know about this gun here is the first thing, do not leave salt in your canister for a prolonged period of time. One thing that I had happen to me is the salt coagulated in the canister and uh, I had to dig it out a little bit with a toothpick and then there was also salt stuck in the in the firing chamber here so the i looked it up and what you're supposed to do is put run warm, warm water down through it and that's what i had to do to get the salt out also if you have tender vegetation and whatever you're going after is on that tender vegetation you may want to think twice about pulling the trigger because what will happen is uh, this is powerful enough, it will rip some leaves apart. Uh, but other than that, this is fantastic. Uh, this, I can't tell you how many times I've, been, I've grilled out on this patio here and used this over and over again just to keep the flies off the grill. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. And until next time, happy gardening.